Joining me now from our bureau in Washington, D.C., legal counsel for the Alliance Defending Freedom, Christiana Holcomb. Christiana, this is a very destructive moment in U.S. history, this effort to kind of whitewash the difference between men and women as if there is no physiological, biological difference. This is crazy. It is. When we as a society try to erase biological differences between male and female, uh, people get hurt, and specifically young women get hurt. And right now in Connecticut, young women are losing out on championship titles, opportunities to compete in front of college coaches, and so many other opportunities as a result of these harmful policies. So in Connecticut, as you mentioned, these poor young girls are getting hammered by this acceptance of so-called gender fluidity. In part, this is what's going on. Two seniors... Uh, they're pushing back against these two senior boys who have combined to win 15 girls' state indoor or outdoor championship races since 2000, 2017. These are boys masquerading as girls beating girls on the track. That's right. It's incredibly discouraging. We all know that science and common sense tell us males are generally bigger, faster, and stronger than biological females, which is the reason we have women's sports as a separate category right. in the first place. And as you mentioned, two males alone are now sweeping state championship titles. They've set 17 new individual meet records and will continue to displace deserving young female athletes if this is not stopped. I've heard it said by these young girls who are getting wiped out by these boys uh, on the track that they're being rendered to spectator status. And that's a horrible, horrible way to describe all the effort and the hours that they, the sweat that they put in to try and, and be at the top of their, whatever field they're in. But it doesn't Title that's IX protect these girls at all? Isn't it designed to protect them? Absolutely. Title IX was designed to stop sex discrimination against women and ensure that young women like Selena and Alana and Chelsea, whom we represent, have equal athletic opportunities with males. And that level playing field is absolutely destroyed when you allow males to come in and to dominate women's sports. You mentioned Alana. Alana Smith is uh, her last name, and I think she put it very succinctly. I have a quote from her. I want to read it. Mentally and physically... We know the outcome before the race even starts. That biological unfairness doesn't go away because of what someone believes about their gender identity. All girls deserve is a chance to compete on a level playing field. The rest of that quote should be girl versus girl, and the boys can compete boy versus boy. This is a brilliant statement. Just because someone happens to identify as a unicorn doesn't make them a unicorn. Yeah, it's absolutely devastating for these young female athletes to feel defeated before they even start their own race because they know that they cannot ultimately always win against these biological males who are bigger, faster, and stronger than they are. And what kind of message does that send to our young women when we tell them from a young age, you can be whatever you want to be, you know, dream big, you can be on the podium, experience the thrill of victory. And we're starting to take away those opportunities and futures from these young women. So, so you're representing them uh, in, in this lawsuit. How do you approach it? Do you approach it from a biological, physiological kind of perspective? Well, first and foremost, it's a violation of federal law. Right. So we have uh, asserted that in our, in our federal lawsuit. But it's also a violation of common sense and science. Science is really clear that males generally are going to have larger hearts and stronger muscles, bigger bones, denser bones, all of these things that give them physiological advantages over young female athletes yeah. like Selena and Alana and Chelsea. So we've asked the court to put a stop to that discriminatory policy. And, of course, the ACLU is taking the other side, as should be perspective. Uh, 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 expected. The bottom line is Americans need to stand up and speak and fight this kind of nonsense, just like you're doing, just like Alana is and, and the other girls. Speak up now before this craziness becomes pervasive uh, in our society. It is completely destructive. Christiana, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.